So Luke Harrison not there, away they go, and it looks like Matchelton got the better start, but Osgood's drawn up alongside. Harbour is uh, very much on his own in the lemon-coloured car at the moment as they file through turn number two, and Osborne goes into the lead uh, at this stage from Magilton, and uh, then Harbour, the next one to come through. That's car 202. And we'll try and pick them up for you when they come back around. It looks like everybody's safely up to the braking area for the hairpin at the moment. Oh, there's a lock up there, and it might be Jake Madden, I think, in the 45. You get a bit of an idea. It's Osborne out of the hairpin, turn four. Slowest corner of Australian motorsport right there. And it is Osborne. He's got just a little breather back to Harbour in the 202 machine. That's the green car. Magilton right behind him in the middies 14 machine from Victoria. Then a side-by-side -side battle. A bit further back, it's Jake Madden, Andrew Toth. Also in there is Ryan Woods behind them. You go back to Joe Andrisky. He's got Phil Ashton with him. John Wise goes to the outside of Ashton on the run into turn number six. That's ambitious, to quote uh, the great Dennis Cometti. <laughs> Absolutely. So at this stage, Osmond are uh, coming to the line now. And then it would be Harbour, followed by Matchelton. The next one through would be Wood, followed by... I can't see from here. Yeah, Andrew Toth. Jake Madden back in sixth, then Andretti Wise, Phil Ashton is tenth, then David Parsons, Viney Rattray, and no Harrison. I've got to find out what happened to the number 17 New South Welshman because uh, so reliable, so quick last weekend. Set, it, uh, set pole position and won all his seats and was a real chance to win. He's won, come third, second in the championship three times in a row. So at the moment as they come out of the hip and on their second lap at this stage, and it's Osborne still leading at this stage, and he's been the man to beat for a number of years. Harbour's closer this time, though. Yes. Look for a run on the run into turn six. Coming through turn five now, and he's tucked right into behind the rear bar of the number one machine of Osborne. They get down to the braking area. They've broken away a little bit from Magilton in the 14 car as they head into turn number six. And, uh, well, we've had a spin. Car number 202, and Osborne's gone off as well on the outside of turn six. So first and second going into the corner have both had trouble, Baz. I can't believe it. So Matchelton's in the lead, followed by Osborne second. Then it's Woods. Then it would be Toth, I think, the next one. Am I right? You are. Yep. Then Jake Madden. Joe Andrisky would be in position six. Then John Wise, David Parsons, Phil Ashton and Anthony Viney round out your 10. And Harbour, he's now back in 12th, which is last at the moment, and he would be fuming. I must admit, I was looking further back and didn't actually see what happened in turn six. He just went on his own. Brett Osborne went out in sympathy. He was ahead of him. Right. He just, he just dr drove off the track on the... Driver's right on the exit of turn six, got it in the grass. Fortunately for him, he was able to gather it all back up and get it back on and only lose one spot. So the gap last time was 2.1, it's now 0.88. Osborne's just done the fastest lap of the race. And there's no surprise in that, he'd have the uh, the red mist, I'd suggest. And Ryan Woods, back to Andrew Todd, Jake Madden, rounding out your top five. He ran here at the last round of our Tasmanian Championship, so he's got a bit of local um, recent history here. Yep, and I've got to tell you, Harbour is really trying, mate, because as he <laughs> came down into the braking area for turn two, he had the right hand front wheel sort of on lock, and I thought he was going to run off the track, but he managed to hold it in, so I think there'll be a bit of blue air in that car, to be quite honest with you uh. at the moment. Now, you were quite right, because Osborne now has closed right up on Magilton as they head down through the sweep. In fact, we can't, or now we can just see the Osborne car. And here he comes. Just look at that. Just pulls out of the slipstream and goes past Magildon, who must be so frustrated to see that happen. They come into the braking Oh, trouble here. Sorry, Baz. That's Andrew Toth. Just driving up the grass on the right-hand side of the track. So I'm going to suggest he's got some sort of an issue. Is he back on the actual bitumen? He's on the bitumen now. Didn't see that start. I just saw him in the grass and he's coughed up all the positions he had. Well, talk about drama. What can we expect <laughs> at the end of the day or the second last race, 15 laps? So at the moment, Osborne has got back in the lead despite that indiscretion down there at turn six. Uh, but Magildan's not giving up. Now, there goes Tothy. Now, I can't see 
any visible damage on the car, certainly on the right hand side. Uh, he's still mobile at this point, so it looks as though he's trying to build up speed. So we'll go back to the leaders though. So it's Osborne from Matchelton. Wood, I think, would still be third. Yes. Uh, in the white car, then. Be Jake Matt. Yeah, Jake Madden has come up. So he's doing a nice job. That's car 45 from Queensland. And then we go back to Joe Andrisky, another Queenslander. John Wise behind him. David Parsons behind him. Then Phil Ashland. Jake Madden now getting very racy on the back of Ryan Woods. That's his battle for third and fourth. So head through turn two. The slightest mistake from Ryan Woods will uh, see him cough up a spot. What I would say was that he was very competitive last weekend in the national title. He was right in the mix, did fade a little bit as the 20 laps went on, but uh, early on he was right in the mix with the, the top three. Toth still travelling very, very slowly down through the sweeper, so there's something mechanical wrong with that number 28 machine. I guess he's just circulating to try and get some points, but something's amiss with the, uh, the number 28 of Andrew Toth. Well, going back to Ryan Woods, you're quite right. He finished fifth overall last weekend, but leading up to that, he had two thirds and a fourth speed so yeah. he was consistently oh, quick he was indeed my word he was so toss still still circulating so it's obviously not uh, terminal whatever's wrong with that car might be stuck in gear or is he waiting for someone to come around could be stuck in gear he might have caught the phil ashland disease he might be stuck in a gear and can't that's it okay last lap board is out and osborne now has opened up a gap on magilton who won't I believe do anything is able to do anything from here but Madden and Wood they're tied in a battle at the moment and what that's done is um, brought up who's the next two after that uh, so you've got Madden and Risky and Wise and then Parsons Harbour's got himself back up to eighth okay so there's now a group of four that's what I was getting at as they head down the hairpin so Osborne now has got a comfortable lead. He's got himself out of uh, trouble from that uh, little indiscretion down there in turn six. Um, I'm sure his team will be able to tell us when was the last time that sort of happened. Just had a message sent to me, Baz, saying that uh, Andrew Toss got no third gear. That would make sense. OK, well, all right. Well, that answers the question. Well, he's on the back straight now. He's staying out of, the, out of the way. And this is the last lap. So half a lap to go, in fact, less. Brett Osborne. The new champion coming down into turn six now. Magilton will take a comfortable second, but third place is up for grabs, folks. That's what it boils down to. Madden's in the mix, Wood's in the mix. Take your pick as they come round towards us. Now, I think it's Wood. As they come towards us, they're almost three abreast. And in fact, it's gonna to go to Madden. I would suggest Madden from Wood. Yeah, that's exactly right. The gap was uh, 11 one-thousandths of a second between Madden and... Uh, oh, and that's gone to Wood.